Today we'll be making our way off the River Avon, which has been our home for the past eight or nine months. Yeah, we've been moored up down in Kingsham, and this is our only our second week of being continuous cruisers, mm -hmm. probably. We're gonna make our way on to the Kennet and Avon, where we first met. Well, this is the Kennet and Avon. Is it? Well, this is the Avon. Kennet and Avon. We're going, ah, back, yeah. on, we're going back on the canal. The canal, yeah. <laughs> We would stay in this spot for a little bit longer. We've only been here a week, you're allowed two weeks. But run out of water and there's really limited water fill up points on the river, so. The spot is beautiful though, and the spot's been really good for parking, um, which is quite limited sometimes, obviously having a car, but with my job, I need to be able to get to work. Um, and That's silly o'clock in the morning. Yeah, like sometimes it's an hour, two hour drive, and then when you've got to like walk to the car, which is 15 minutes away, you really appreciate living in a home and having a driveway. Ready? Ready. Do we need to get unplugged? Yeah, I'll go and check for that. Oh. Hopefully we haven't got any low bridges with the... Oh, yeah, I can't remember the height. It depends on the height of the Avon. We might have to do an emergency stop and <laughs> well, I don't know where else to put them at the minute. I said I'm going to try and come up with a contraption. I'm onto something. The bike mount on the stern. I don't know why I chucked that there. We're really enjoying having the bikes on the boat because uh, we've had folding bikes before, which are good. Um, but I think we're a bit attached to these bikes now since we've done our trip. So yeah, I really want to be able to keep them, but they're just a bit in the way and they're like really in the way if they're in the inside the boat so we don't really want to have to do that. They sort of live here when we're not moving but obviously it's a bit of a pain having to keep moving them along the towpath um, along the galley galley especially because we haven't painted that grippy paint yet which we will do that's top of the list. I don't know if you can see all the little fishies We're stuck on the bank. I don't know if it's because the water level's dropped a bit, but try and push us off. Might just creep past this boat. There you go. Lovely. Hi, little spot. Careful, that's Whoa, I nearly lost the camera. We haven't set the tripod up very well yet. One thing I wish we did on our way down when we come down with my dad and brother um, was go up to Pulteney Weir where you can go up and turn round. So I'm hoping that we can go up there, turn round, and then we'll have to turn back round again to come off the river into the lock, but I think it'd be worth it. It looks stunning. I'm a bit scared. A bit scared. Lots of people look over that bridge. <laughs> After more up on these in a sec when we turn around. That's the entrance to the canal there. It's safety. But we're going that way. <laughs> Good way. I'm a bit scared. I'm just a bit worried at how many people watch. It really puts me off and makes me like, I'll turn around. nervous. Ooh. I like it. I like seeing the joy on people's faces when they see narrow yeah. boats, but it does just make me feel a bit self-conscious. Like stage fright. Yeah. <laughs>
first lock of the day, bath, the bottom lock. This one takes us up onto the canal, off the river. On the wrong side of this. We got pushed off that. Danny's gonna come through on her own on the boat. Thinks we're first lock. Actually handling the boat. You think I'm gonna be on this one? Yeah, but I just keep straight and then once you get past a little bit, turn left. So turn a, to the left to take you right, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy? Mm. Would you want me to get us in this one? Sure. I can do it. Yeah. Well, I'll let you start up. Can you stand around? Yeah. Okay. Come So this next one is Bath Deep Lock. I'm pretty sure it's either the second or joint first deepest lock in the country. It got essentially put, and what should I say? It used to be a set of two locks, but still struggles being on camera around people after like two years. So it used to be a set of two locks, but then they put this road in and they had to change it to one lock, so which brought up to being yeah, one of the deepest in the country. So this one's awkward because to open the gates you don't just swing them, you've got to turn that. I got confused then. Someone just shouted because they wanted to go down it but it was already quite empty. That's the one you've got to wind the gates as well. Yeah. Absolute nightmare. Long isn't it? There's a guy waiting at the top, he shouted as if he could have come down but it was already empty. Oh. So he'll come straight in after you but he'll be on the thing waiting as you come out so you just have to go round him. Can you come on then? I, should, I might be able to get on then, yeah, yeah. All right. Maybe the next one. How have your first two locks been? Yeah, I timed the biggest one. How long do you think it took? Ten minutes? Six. Six minutes. Yeah, a bit scary. So it was like a dishwasher. It went up too fast. It just felt a bit vulnerable. Yeah. Big old lock, innit? Yeah. <sighs> back on the canal. Absolutely sweating doing this. I think I might hand this back over to you after. Why? I prefer driving. I prefer driving. I prefer steering. A little duck's done the lock reverse. I don't know what it's going on. Is it up front? It's up front, I think. We're not far off ready now. Did you do the lock? Well done. Is that fun? You want to get out? Yeah, we're trying to get out as well. Come on, it's open now. It's a hard way of doing it, mate. There you go. Freedom! Woo! Can you come get me? Yeah. <laughs> right, reverse. Right, I've earned my keep now. Danny's going to do the next one, then we should be at the water point. Hi, 
buddy. It just feels like we've been doing lock after lock. I forgot how many locks were here. I was only thinking it was like three or four, but it's a lot. So I think this one, maybe one more, but I think it's just this one. And then we can get water and then we can try and find a mooring because tomorrow there is a summer fair on the canal with lots of local businesses that um, have businesses on their narrow boats or their barges. Uh, so we're gonna be attending that with my lovely friend Rosie, her little family, and yeah, my godson as well. So really looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, we need water, that is the main thing. Forget how, I know we've said it already on this channel, but you really forget how important water is when you just have it at, at your disposal on a, on a tap. Yeah. Oh no. Ow! It's because I fed them earlier. I would chuck them food, but they'll come back quicker than I can get them out. Justin just missed out on that lovely two day more behind us. Got to the water point, fill up quickly, and then head that way, see if we can get moored up properly. Shame, literally seeing mate come into it as we were in the last lock. Let's see if I can find a mooring. I found a couple of spots on the bike, but a boat's been passed through the lock since. This is probably the slowest, slowest tap on I the remember now. network. It's a very slow tap. We're nearly there now. Both had a wash with our existing water, so that when we fill up, we're like full, full. It's always the best. That was hard going, that set lock. It's not gonna lie. Not used to it. I'm normally just captain. I prefer being captain. But who's in as a two again? Yeah, every day. Yeah, I can't walk again. Pub of the day. Plenty of one in the loop. Pub of the week. Pub every now, but I think we're going to do pub of the day. No, we're not going to do pub of the day. <laughs> pub of the day. Pub of the day. It just goes hand in hand, doesn't it? It really does. Especially along the canal. I think so, some of the best pubs been in the to country. All of these along here, so we'll probably go in town a bit more. Perhaps. Probably the levelest plank we've had. Sturdy. Nice. Love it. What's next? Pub? Oh, no, we need to clean the house. Oh, it's clean. It's not clean. I'll go and find some bins for the bin bag on the bike. I'm just teaching Danny that after every cruise you need to grease your stern gland 
I'm just showing you, all right? This is that. That it's little handle. So gross Turn that handle, see that down there? You might see the cable drip. See drip? Yeah. That's the river, the, walk, the canal walk come in. Turn that handle a few times so you get pressure. Then what? And that just stops the walk coming in. After every cruise. Oh, and you may not oil it. That is grease. Oh. It's a handle. Oh. That's pumping grease down into the gland. Make sure you Emily's cute dog. You could show me Emily's cute dog. <laughs> You're giggling. <laughs> what dog is it? It's a rescue. He's a Labrador cross with, I don't know, a Springer, I think. <laughs> this is him. I think he's called Dexter, but I have to double fact check that. Look at the next one. <laughs> Look at his ears. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole village know he's awake from his nap. <laughs> Cracks me up. Put the chairs up. Do you guys do any angling? Fishing? Lovely day for it. Third outfit change of the day. Put the chairs away. We're we going to beers, don't I? Joe is thinking, oh, we're not going to be here that long. We can't do this everywhere we go. This is our life now. Can't use that excuse. Yeah, set the bins out and just sample a new pub. Lovely. I've chose the pub, the boater in Bath. Aptly named. Good afternoon, everyone. I'll catch you up in a minute, but we've got some really tame moorhen neighbours. You want some more? Nearly. Oh. I think this is a young one. <laughs> really funny looking. So we've been at this spot for, what, like four or five days so far? And we've come unpinned at least twice that we know of. Someone's thankfully tied us back up. He's in the centre line. I had this wired as a um, spring as well, so one, two, with two pegs in each and still come out. Basically, I think the wind's been quite bad and there's a turning circle there. I think us boats are like having to accelerate against the wind and coming in a little bit quick, just pulling us out. So I have to try and tie that up properly now. Hello. What should we name them? Um. After the brewery, there's a more brewery. Drink more beer is their slogan. So what should we name? M O O R, because they're more hens. Well, it's not a very like thoughtful name, then, is it? Yeah, but think of a. Well, yeah, but what are you going to call them? There's two of them. Yeah. More. Mash and Wart. Hmm? Oh, it's mash from whiskey. War and yeast. I'm not calling them that. I'll think of something good. Although we are going to leave this uh, mooring in a couple of days. And that's the sad part of leaving a mooring is the birds don't really follow you. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, you have a nap. That's it.
as any dad would say, that ain't going nowhere. <laughs> We've got a rather poorly little nurse here that needs nursing. Mm. What can we get you? Some cream for my eczema. Is that that? Sure that'd be bad, isn't it? Because you're washing your hands a lot. I'm seeing a herbalist and I'm also iron deficient. Yeah, so we're taking three iron tablets a day. Mm -hmm. Taking zinc. Yeah. Because you've got real lack of energy, haven't you? This why I'm sleepy all the time. Yeah, someone said that you're lazy, but what you don't realise is the hours that Danny works and she is the only one with a full time job. And I'm iron deficient, I'm not lazy, I'm I'm ill. <laughs> Got an illness. You've got a symptom of the And I actually, I do actually feel ill right now. You do feel better off, don't you? Mm. And I can't have any caffeine, which I didn't have a lot of caffeine anyway. But even a cup of tea won't go amiss. So we're trying to find out the source of this, aren't we? Mm. It hurts. So any tips? Mm. It looks like particularly unappetising today. Clearing that up. But there is a beer in the fridge waiting for me. Which I might pop open now. Actually, there's two because this one's not really up for having one. So. I don't mean you get two. <laughs> That's the maths. Also, for anyone really into narrow boats, this is Bath narrow boats that were moored by, and that one there, really bad quality footage. Here. That is the same builder and style as our boat. X Black Prince Hire Boat or Harbour 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 Marine style. Ours is all steel though. Harbour Marines had fiberglass tops, I think. What I've just remembered, we've said before, but it still amazes a lot of people. Everything except for the toilet goes out into the canal. So washing up, washing hands, showers, baths. So you really need to buy most eco products you can find. I don't know how eco Ecova is now since it's been bought out by P and G. What is it? Johnson and Johnson. Got to put it in small print, aren't they? And the method ones are good as well. Yeah, they've like hidden their name from it, but they definitely got bought out. Do you want me to set you up a little cinema? Yeah, I'm going to have to move to make the cinema. It's like watching a wild animal, isn't it? Ta-da! Team effort. Team, we are a team. You'd do the same if I was ill, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course I would. One cinema coming up. A few days ago, we filmed Mongolia to become a 10 day journey. to see what else Mongolia has to offer. We just hung out. We had some coffee, we chatted with our guys. Got some tea down here. So that is another successful cruise under our belt. Next trip will be Bath to Bradford on Avon, where it all began. Where it all began. Where the build began. And then onwards again. And then further after that. And further after that. Her uncle Davis, but he's probably out. I bet he's a busy boy this time of year. Mm. Season, isn't it, for cruising? Mm. Thank you so much to what to watching. <laughs> Thank mm. you so much for watching. Thank you to our patrons. And we don't normally ask, but if you're watching and you haven't subscribed already, oh, we would really appreciate it. Yeah. It doesn't really do a lot, but it just looks better, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We'd like it if you subscribe, please. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week. See you next week. Night. This light is very painful. <sighs> <laughs> Shh.